Hi, this is JP from Another Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and try to do the best we can in the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, let's first pick our random investigator. I have all of my remaining uh, investigators that have not been in this series yet in this bag, so uh, this time's unlucky investigator is. Um, uh, the name escapes me, it is the salesman, um, it is Bob Jenkins, yeah it is Bob. So uh, yeah, uh, Bob is a survivor with uh, rogue um, access, but um, we are only getting 5 level 0 uh, rogue card in the deck, and after that, uh, if we would have uh, gained some experience, we could upgrade to rogue uh, level 1 to 5 cards, but um, at level 0 it's basically a survivor with some rogue cards. So let's hop over to arkhamcdb.com and build the chaos deck for Bob. Okay, and we are ready to begin uh, building Bob's deck, so here is Bob. Uh, we'll just pick the random chaos deck for Bob and see what we get. So, hmm, Arkham DB is a bit slow today apparently, but we'll get there. So, uh, without further delay, let's push the chaos button and see what kind of deck we get. Okay, uh, improvise shield. A total garbage for Bob. We can't discard that. Uh, Kukri, another bad card. That's all the hand slots we get, except of course we have one sledgehammer, level zero. Uh, well, uh, we are not getting good weapons for th this run, so I think we are trying to investigate and evade the best we can. Uh, Cherry's keepsake. Well, uh, this adds some buffer to Bob's sanity, but Bob has more sanity than health already. Uh, decorated skull, <laughs> we're not defeating anybody, probably. Uh, grizzly totem, uh, yeah, not, not that good. Fine clothes, well, uh, we are not doing any parlay actions that require skill checks, so that's you. well, yeah, that's useless. Uh, letter coat, another well, health soak, that's good. We didn't get any ally. We Oh yeah, we got two Granny Orn allies. Well, Granny Orn is okay, not the best for Bob. Uh, smoking pipe, no, not good. Track shoes, uh, it, that's good uh, with Bob. And if we are trying to evade, let God sort them out, not good at all. One copy of Glimmer of Hope, well, it's useless by itself, if we had three copies it could be decent. One decoy, well, helps us to evade. Fortress Discovery times two, well, not good, even if we had three of them. Uh, grit Your Teeth, well, this is an okay card, I think. Hit and Run, well, uh, we can put an ally asset into play, we only have the Granny Orn, so not that interesting. Jury Rig, well, we could Jury Rig the Kukri to hit something or the Sledgehammer. So there's that. Uh, kicking the Hornet's Nest, well, uh, we are not that good at fighting, so no. Makeshift Trap, uh, yeah, at level 0, I, I don't think this is really good. Sc uh, scrum for supplies, mm, no, shed a light, uh, yeah, to remind we are playing non-taboo, so this should uh, be too experienced, I think, uh, in uh, taboo right now, but it isn't, uh, we don't really have any way to lower the shroud value of any location to zero, so this is useless, and then a lot of, uh, some of skills, so we have uh, 
not without a fight, uh, that's okay. Able body times two, that's okay. Uh, Predestined, uh, not good because we don't have a curse or blessed tech. Uh, tech hearts, well, it's an um, auto fail <laughs> save. So usually when you play take heart, you pull the elder sign and one uh, unexpected courage. Okay, well, uh, let's see what is our basic weakness going to be. It is paranoia, so discard all of your resources. So that's that's bad for Bob because greed needs us to have resources. So that could be a bad combo there. But uh, that is the deck. So next uh, we'll build the deck for Bob and get started. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start, so I have built the deck, so uh, we start at your house as usual. The cool breeze is in the deck as we are playing standalone, so let's draw our opening hand and see how well Bob does. So, one, two, three, four, five. So we get cookery, not without a fight, sledgehammer, granny orn, granny orn, so who shuffled this deck? I'm not using that, I'm not using that. I think I'll keep these two. And uh, we'll draw two more cards. We get Fortress Discovery and we redraw the Paranoia. So we get a hit and run. So we could utilize Granion with the hit and run. Okay, and we'll shuffle the Mulligan cards back into the deck. So we'll get to start. I think I'll just play down the Sledgehammer. So then we at least have a weapon so we can fight. And I forgot that Bob has actually a 3 combat uh, skill value, so we could be able to fight something. And uh, we have the ability to use an extra action on each round, so I'll just place a counter there. If we use the play an item asset in their hand uh, ability, so at any time an investigator at your location may reveal you uh, the item asset in their hand, you may take an additional action during your turn, which can only be used to play an item asset from the hand of an investigator at your location under the, their control. Both investigators may spend resources. And uh, yeah, Elder Sign is plus one for each item asset to control. So I'm uh, just doing the extra action to play the Sledgehammer. So Sledgehammer takes up two hand slots. And cost three. Then I think I will just investigate and get the hell out of here. Uh, not using anything else here, so my first actual action is to investigate four versus two. Not committing anything. Uh, minus three, we fail. Ultra again. Uh, four versus two. Uh, cultist is a minus two. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. We don't have any cultist enemies, but we get this blue. Last action. We'll move to River Town. And that is our turn. Okay, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw another Fortress Discovery, and gain a resource. So, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add one Doom, one of six, and counter card is Locked Door. Okay, well, uh, we get a Locked Door over here. Which sucks, because this would have been an easy clue to get. Instead, no dice, so mm, we don't have any item assets to play. I think I'll just move to the graveyard. Two clues here. And it is a victory one location. We will make uh, we'll make the willpower check here. 
and I'm not committing anything, I'll just take the horror. So 2 versus 3. Minus 2, we fail, we take 2 horror. Second action, we will investigate. 4 versus 1. Minus 3, we see, succeed. And last action, we'll investigate. 4 versus 1. Tablet is a minus 3. If you fail, place one of your clues on the location. We don't fail, so we get that clue, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We get glimmer of hope and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is an acolyte. Okay. We'll spawn the acolyte. Put Doom on it uh, to River Town. We will defeat it when we move out of the graveyard. But for now, first action is to spend two clues and spawn one cultist, which is Root Turner. So Root spawns in St. Mary's Hospital. Mm, I'll mark Root that she is there. We could actually go and Try a defeat root. Yeah, we could just try to defeat root with our sledgehammer. But first, um, we'll move to River Town, so this cultist engages us. And last action, we will hit uh, with the sledgehammer. And uh, I'm committing not without a fight, so we get plus two. We are fighting four versus three, and I'm actually going a five versus three. <laughs> Minus three, we fail. Okay, well, that sucks. And uh, we get a minus one from here. So next round, we'll do a double action, get plus two, so we really will defeat this guy. Okay, uh, enemy face, this guy hits us for one damage, nothing else happens. Upkeep, we get an unexpected courage, and gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so we are at four of six encounter card is a hunting night god. Uh, we are in trouble. Uh, we need to figure out how we deal with all of these enemies now. Okay. Well, um, I'll try to I'll try to Kill off the acolytes. I'm using unexpected courage in this test. Uh, we are uh, hitting for uh, four versus three. Zero. So the cult is at least is defeated. And uh, second action, uh, I think we are evading this night count, so we are evading 3 versus 1, and all negatives are double, so let's see if we can actually evade. Minus 4, no chance. We'll try again. Uh, minus 4, I mean 3 versus 1. Minus two, uh, so we succeed, so it's evaded. Nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep. This guy ready and gets us again. We'll draw leather coat and get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so again, we are at four of six and count carries on wings of darkness. So uh, we are just testing this. 
3 versus 4. I'm playing Granny Orn as fast so we can soak the damage on the Granny Orn. Or at least the horror. Uh, we are testing uh, two, uh, three versus four. Call this the place one doom. It is a minus two. Place one doom on the nearest call this the enemy. So this uh, root turner gets a doom, which is a bad thing. And that is that. Okay, first action. We will hit with the sledgehammer. Uh, I am hitting uh, with the double action, so we are hitting 5 versus 3. 0, uh, 3 damage. We are hitting uh, without the double action, so with the single action, so we are at 2. I'll boost to 3 versus. 3 versus uh, 3, so we need to get lucky here. Elder sign, so plus 1 for each item asset, so we defeat this knight count. So that's, that's a good thing, but we are advancing, so there is trouble ahead. Okay, now when enemy actions will go to upkeep, we draw able bodied and gain a resource. Uh, this returns into our hand. So um, at the end of the turn it has if this asset is still in play return to your hand. Okay. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom so the agenda advances. And we get the Mask Hunter. So, uh, 4 fight, 6 health, 2 evade, Humanoid Cultist Elite, Spawn, Engage with Prey, Prey most Blues, Hunter. Okay, so it spawns here. Then we get an Encounter card. And it is the Ghoul Priest. So, the Ghoul Priest spawns in uh, at our house. In this scenario, so we have one turn to get away. Uh, first action, we will uh, able bodied evade the mass counter. Or do we want to do that? Uh, I think I'll save the able bodied if we try to defeat root turner by evading. Yeah, so I'm trying three versus two to evade. Zero, we succeed, so we get rid of the cool priest. Second, uh, second action, we will move south side, and action: search your deck for an ally asset and add it to your hand. Uh, shuffle your deck. We are not doing that, but we will try to get this clue. Um, yeah, I'm I'm playing this just to get it out of my hands into the discard. We are investigating uh, 4 versus 2, minus 1, we'll get this clue. And that is our turn. Enemy actions, the Ghoul Priest hunts here. Upkeep this guy readies. We draw makeshift trap and gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add one doom, one of eight, encounter card is obscuring fog. So that, that is a dodged encounter card here. That's good. First action, we'll move to St. Mary's Hospital. Uh, one clue, shroud of two, heal three damage. And uh, root turner engages us. So second action, we'll try to evade. I am committing both able-bodied and makeshift trap to this. So 
if you control two of your asset, it gains one. If you control one of your asset, I control only one, so I get plus two, uh, plus three eva evade from this and plus one evade from this. So I am four, uh, seven versus five for the parlay evasion. So minus one root turner goes to the victory display when she is evaded. So that is one call is defeated. And there should be one clue here. Uh, last action, I'll spend these two clues to spawn another cultist, and it is Peter Warren. Okay. Enemy face, these guys hunt here. Upkeep. We draw. Grit your teeth. And uh, we gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we and a doom. Encounter card for this round is Hunting Shadow. We don't have any clues, so we have to take the two damage. We are in pretty bad shape here. Uh, but I have a plan. So if we move and investigate the Miskatonic University, then we can parlay and spend the clues, but that would defeat us. So I think we will investigate and move with Peter Warren to the north side. Taking, no, uh, we'll take too many attacks of opportunity then. Ah, uh, this is a bad situation. We don't have good cards for fighting. Well, we could try to just, uh, yeah. No, that's not enough. So we're in a bit of a pickle here. Okay, action. Heal 3 damage. Limit once per game. So we use the hospital's ability here. I'm not picking up this clue here. We don't have the time. We'll move to Miskatonic University. There's two clues here. And Peter engages us. Last action, we'll take an attack of opportunity and move to north side. So, and two close there. And uh, that's our turn. Enemy face this hunt here. Upkeep. Uh, yeah, enemy face Peter Warren hits us again and hit, uh, hit us uh, for the attack of opportunity also. So we draw a card, uh, decoy, and get the source. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, this round we add a doom, hoping to not get an enemy encounter card. Crypt chill. Well, I think that's bye bye to our sledgehammer. Uh, two versus four, minus two. We lose the sledgehammer, so that was my one option to just uh, double action defeat Peter Warren, but we can't do that now. Uh, first action, we will investigate and I will play Hortius Discovery. So we get plus one and get one additional clue from our occasion. So we get one attack of opportunity here. <clears throat> we are investigating a 5 versus 3. I'll go 6 versus 3. Minus 1. We'll get 2 clues. Second action, we will parlay and defeat Peter Warren. Last action, we will move to downtown. There are two clues here, Shroud of Four and Victory One. Uh, no enemy action. Well, these hunt. Nothing else happens. We'll go to upkeep. We get improvised shield and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Four of eight. 
encounter parties, obscuring fog. Okay, well, we're not investigating here either. So, I'm one damage off of dying, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... Uh, maybe we should just resign, or I could try to get a couple of more clues, but the only victory points on the table are these locations, this is uninvestigatable with my abilities, this is pretty bad also, so there's one clue here, one clue here, but we need to break the door there, uh, so we need to get to go there. It's not a good situation, so first action, I'll play Granny on so we at least get one health buffer, just in case. Second action, we'll move to East Town, uh, okay, back up, we'll move to East Town and we play an ally asset here, so we reduce the cost by two. Yeah, always forget that this location exists. Last action, we'll investigate here, just to get the clue, instead if we hit the one card that deals damage, so 4 versus 2, 0, we'll get this clue, enemy face, this enemy is hunt here, upkeep, we draw, shrewd dealings, and gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round, we are at 5 of 8 doom, and counter card is mysterious chanting. So we add two doom to the nearest cultist enemy. And that means we are out of time. Next round we would advance and uh, get doomed out. So I think there's nothing for me to do but resign. So that is the end. We'll resign and uh, yeah, well, um, didn't go that poorly. We still got like uh, four experience and two cultists defeated here, and we had like really bad luck with uh, in the in the early early scenario when we drew too many enemies. So we had to deal with those that slowed us down quite a bit. But we defeated Blue Turner and Peter Warren, so that's at least good. So Bob did uh, surprisingly well. And I think it was lucky to draw the Sledgehammer at the start. Uh, even though it's not that great of a weapon on level 0, it still was a weapon that we could use to defeat stuff, so that's good. So that was uh, Bob Jenkins in the Midnight Mass in Eye of Chaos series, so hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.